Ferreira! Ferreira! All right, ladies, you can see your instructors in the back. I need you to pay attention to my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. This is a little high. This is good here. This is a little high. This is good here. All right, first command is high. Touch him up. Touch him up. Step back. We are ready for our opening contest here. Our first look in the professional ranks at the Olympic silver medalist, Beatrice Ferreira. The matchroom hopes to fast track to a world title at 130 pounds. And she'll kick off her career against an opponent she is very familiar with in Tyna Cardoso. Three minute rounds here tonight. Will this set a precedent, especially when we have Marlene Esparza, we have so many fighters that want to fight for three minutes? Oh. Certainly a credit to the Ohio Commission for being open to that here tonight. And round one underway. Beatrice Ferreira already working her jab. Tina Cardoso has moved her camp to Miami. Getting some extra work and sparring in there once again. She too, like Ferreira, is oscillating between the amateur ranks and the professional game. But it actually definitely looks the part. Looks strong, throwing power punches, not looking to just score. I love watching high-level amateurs make that transition over to the pros. You can just see their judge of distance, their range, their timing right off the bat. You can see that from Ferreira. Cardoso is a high-level amateur herself. In 2015, Chantel Cameron at that time said that Cardoso had given her the toughest fight of her career at that point. Between the two of these women, about 20 Brazilian national amateur championships, but obviously as Ferreira, who has the height behind her heading into this one. Good left hook to the body there from Ferreira. Well, let's not forget that Brazil, in general, is a hot spot for combat sport talent. So that transition is seamless for them. I really like what Ferreira's doing off the top. She's controlling the center of the ring. She's being the ring general in there, right. throwing the heavier shots. It looks like she's really setting up Cardoso for some big, big stuff coming down the way. And a good right hand to the body during that last sequence. That stiff jab breaks through the guard of Cardoso. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Nice, nice left combo. hook. Yes. Beautiful left hook at the end there. Mm. And the body and the shot. Right. Oh. Cardoso looking for a counter left hook off the ropes there, but already seemingly a little bit uncertain of her offense as Ferreira is oh. banging away oh. the body. Will be a knockdown. Five, six, seven, you know, eight. the ladies usually say that that extra minute will give them the opportunity to look for more knockouts because that there's more exhaustion after that second minute. Oh, here we'll get proof of that. Plenty of time for Ferreira to operate here in her first professional round, during which she has now scored her first professional knockdown. Cardoso still looks a little hurt. She's a little bit on wobbly legs there. And like I said, Ferreira, she was, she, Ferreira was setting up that big shot. It was a nice right hand to the side of the ear. Those shots are hard to recover from. Couple left hooks right along the belt line there. As the seconds tick away in what was a dominant start to the pro career of Beatrice Ferreira. Quer molhar a cabeça ou não, né? Pode uma cabeça, tá? Tranquilo, tá ótimo. Cabeça com cabeça aqui. Respira um pouco. Respira fundo. Como tá sentindo, tá muito bom. Confia mais no jab. Usa o jab no peito mais vezes e usa o jab forte na cabeça. E outra, essa mão cruzada não tá saindo. Usa ela. Então, ó. Dá no outro. Eu balgo. Eu não me dei balgo. Ó. Here we see Ferreira. She did a very good job of cutting off the ring. She landed a lot of good right hands to the body, which set up that big right hand up top. And like I said, those shots that hit you in the side of the head alongside the ear, 
very hard to recover from. Round two underway. See if Beatrice Ferreira pick up where she left off in round one. Sending Cardoso to the canvas. Once again, three-minute rounds in effect here tonight. The fighters petitioned the Ohio Commission. They said yes. But as Claudia mentioned, maybe setting a precedent here. Yes. I think it's phenomenal. Good shot there from Cardoso. Good counter right hand. But Fanatic come right back with that left hook. Very impressive punch, punch selection so far from Fanatic. She's putting those punches wherever she wants. Right hand down low, right hand over the top. Left hook as a counter. Beautiful stuff so far from the Olympian. We saw Ferreira at the weigh-in, Chris, and obviously this is boxing and not a, a physique contest, but when you see the arms of Beatrice Ferreira, there are very few 130-pounders in the women's division that would present as physically stronger than Beatrice Ferreira. Absolutely. She looks the part, and we are ringside. We can hear these shots. She has power. Stop! Stop! Box. Nice body shot there. Left hook to the liver. Cardoso warned for the use of the elbow there, but it's Ferreira who tucks the left hook underneath that elbow. Right. Saw between rounds a little bit of swelling on the forehead of Ferreira thanks to a clash of heads. Notice Fedetta how she uses the jab. She lets her power punches go, and then she keeps the connection by putting that jab in the middle. She wants to keep that pressure on and cuts the ring off beautifully. Good left hook connects there from Ferreira. One thing you see too from Ferreira, Chris, and this is something that only very high level boxers can do, the ability to just lean back out of the way of shots and then immediately come back with counters. Yeah, that that, that was that, that judgment, that, that distance judgment I was talking about that a lot of these high level amateurs bring to the pro ranks. They just, they know where to step, how to make you just miss. Shot there from Cardoso. Cardoso's managed to land a couple of solid okay, right hands, but Break. the activity and pressure of Ferreira is certainly putting doubt in Cardoso's mind. And there's that same chopping right hand that knocked Cardoso down in the opening round. Yeah, she's setting it up with the left hook upstairs first. Left hook, right hand combination has been very effective so far. Now you can see Cardoso is fighting off that back foot, so even a lot of the shots that she does land don't carry the same kind of power when you're going forward. Estamos jogando, não estamos jogando golpe, tá? Jogando. Se você quiser, a hora que ela acabar o dela, responde. A hora que acabar o dela, você responde. Ela botou um, dois, três. Não precisa nem esperar uma mão exata. Joga assim que ela acabar o dela, joga, joga. E ela vai ter que responder. Matheus Alves. Ela jogou um, dois, três, bum, bum, bum de volta. It's basically advising. Uh, Ferreira about the headbutts and uh, Karima Um was telling Cardoso to keep moving because she's actually falling into Ferreira's fight and she can't play that game. I can agree with that. Round three underway here, Beatrice Ferreira and Tyna Cardoso in our opening contest from the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse here in Cleveland, Ohio. There we see that combination again, that left hook right hand combination. Ferreira's doing a great job of, of Splitting the guard of Cardoso. As we mentioned during Ferreira's entrance, she has spent her whole life in the sport of boxing, but for the first nine years that she practiced the sport, there were no women for her to fight where she lived. So she sparred with other men, she sparred with the boys, and at the age of 15 started teaching boxing lessons just so she could stay busy in the gym. Pretty common story for a lot of female fighters having to have to spar with the men because they don't have a lot of 
girls in the gym right. to work with. Katie did it for years. Yeah, Katie Taylor, of course. Once Amanda had to, Serrano. Had to masquerade go, as a boy go, in order to yes. get amateur right. race. So that's one of the things that um, Mateus Alves was advising uh, Ferreira about the dirty fight, how Cardoso has a tendency to clinch and then just go for the body. And then in those instances, there was a clash of heads. And as you can see, she uh, Ferreira has a little bump on the left side of her forehead. See Ferreira dropping her hands a little bit now, getting a little more playful with her offense. But Cardoso comes over the top of the right hand. Yeah, she landed two good right hands in the last minute or so. Well, I think it's, it's important to recontextualize this fight here, guys, because, again, this isn't just a, a cakewalk pro debut no. for an Olympian. This is a high-level amateur who herself has many Brazilian national amateur championships, who's also 5-0 and as a pro that Ferreira's facing right out of the gate. Yeah, I was surprised to see the selection of Cardoso for Pereira's pro debut, but you know, she's so far so good. Oh, good body exchange here on the inside. But Ferreira getting the best of it, and Cardoso will take a knee. The second knockdown of the fight. And it was exactly the same bunch in the first round. Once again, three-minute rounds. What so many women have been asking for, for this reason, the additional time to let knockouts materialize, and back goes Ferreira to the body. That body work from Ferreira is brutal. She is ripping the right hands and coming back with the left hooks to clean it up. That right hand is going right into the rib cage. And she's got it like down to a T. Her timing is perfect. Yeah, her placement is, is great too. She's very, very precise with these shots. Oh. Just missed with that right hand, but she didn't miss with that exchange. Cardoso nearly went down for a third time. Esse, respira fundo agora. Esse, é isso aí, mano. Olha a cabeça um pouquinho. Respira fundo. Quer tirar o eletor um pouquinho? Ó, oh, mostra a felicidade. Tu meteu duas contas ali já, mano. Isso aí. Te diverte, porra. Respira fundo. É isso. Mateus Alves respira, literally respira. saying, Beatriz, breathe. Só tá tranquilidade breathe. pra encerrar a luta. Um pouquinho menos de ansiedade na hora de encerrar. Olha um pouquinho mais. E outra, essa mão tá jogando. You gotta keep doing what you're doing. Basically, just stay in. And she has no answer for you. Here we see those left hooks, those body shots by Ferreira. I believe it was one of those left hooks early on. Had Cardozo in trouble. And then she came right back with another left hook to the liver there. there Ladies and gentlemen, this is the, is the four After the body. Beautiful, beautiful work. I gotta give it to Cardozo because she's actually taking that type of punishment and she keeps coming forward. Very, very tough. Yes. Fourth and final round here in our opening contest. Two knockdowns scored by Beatrice Ferreira. And she potentially looks to close the show here in the fourth. They'll have three minutes once again to do it as she goes back downstairs to the body. She ripped that right hand downstairs and then brings it back up top. Yeah, she's really loading up now. You can tell she wants that, that stoppage in her pro debut. Mm. Oof. Beautiful combination there. Left hook to the body, right hand over the top, and now rips an uppercut that breaks through the guard. Right. Oh my goodness! Whipping those shots to the body. Three, back to back. Wasn't allowing herself to be tied up, had a free hand and used it. And it was Cardoso who was admonished there for holding. Admonished and paid the price. Yeah, Cardoso's having a tough night. Big overhand right again. Yeah, this is not a good not a good day at the office for Cardoso, but I still give her a lot of credit because she's taking it. She's not backing down either. No, she's she's tough, but she is outclassed tonight. Yes. Beatrice Ferreira, a sergeant in the Brazilian Army. In addition to her pro boxing career and her amateur boxing career. That will not be scored a knockdown. And it's really pouring it on, putting tons of pressure. Hey, stop! 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 Great. Last time we take a point. Cardoso warned. 
potentially a point could be taken away, but that's not what matters right now. Cardoso's only hope to win this fight would be a series of knockdowns or a knockout. Yeah, and, and Cardoso's not doing it to be dirty. She's, she's not doing it to be effective even. She just, she's got no answer. She's self-preservation, yeah. exactly. It's her only way to survive at this point. Side a minute remaining in this contest as Ferreira. That's a whole lot of boxing left. Continuing to hunt for this knockout. Watch your fading shot. Come here. Good time. Come here. Stop. Come here. Come here. Close. A little miscommunication here. Yeah, both fighters will be warned. Back. You guys, you holding. All right. Let's go. Touch him up. Touch him up. Step what back. you were referring to, Chris. Come in. Yeah, she, she, she's holding because she wants to stem the, the, the tide that's coming at her. I mean, she's Ferreira's nonstop. Stop. All right. Good. See the swelling under the eye of Cardoso under her left eye as these right hands are starting to pierce through the guard. Razor focused. There's no one doubting Ferreira's face. All right, step back. Final moments of an impressive pro debut from the Olympic silver medalist Beatrice Ferreira. Impressive indeed. Reportedly 127 and 9 as an amateur. And now we assume a 1 0 as a professional, but a valiant effort from Tyna Cardoso as we see she and her coach Kareem Aoun. And listen, there are a lot of fighters at 130 at the lower levels that Tyna Cardoso would have given a good fight to. And Chris, in 2020, Cardoso was actually supposed to fight Amanda Serrano before Cardoso caught COVID 19. So Cardoso has been considered as an opponent, at least, for those types of fighters. And Beatrice Ferreira had no issues with her whatsoever tonight. No, no, she's on a completely different level. I cannot wait to see her fight again, tell you the truth. That was a very exciting four-rounder. And listen, three-minute rounds. I like it. It looked, it was great. Ferreira looked great throughout. I mean, it was in, in, in the first minute and the third minute. So it's a good argument for, for maintaining three-minute rounds for the women's fights. As we take a look at some of Ferreira's handiwork, throughout the bout, and Chris, that body work was absolutely vicious. I spoke multiple times about the punch placement of Ferreira. Very, very impressive. She put the left hooks right where they're supposed to go, the right hands. She picked either straight to, down to the body or straight to the head, scoring a knockdown in the first round with the right hand behind the ear, and then getting another knockdown in round number three with, with left hooks to the body. We saw Beatrice Ferreira with her trainer, Mateus Alves, and, and one positive, I think, Chris, we talk about the oscillation between the amateurs and the pros for Ferreira, she's keeping the same coach for both. Ladies and gentlemen, after going four three-minute rounds for the first time in the state of Ohio, we go to the judges' score totals. All three judges scored this bat identically, 40 to 34, for your winner by unanimous decision. She's now undefeated as a professional, Beatrice, the Beast.